It's time for the Coach's Corner Show with your host, Pat DiCibato. Hello and welcome to the Coach's Corner Show brought to you by Beggar's Pizza. I am your host, Pat DiCibato from the uh, Daily Southtown newspaper. And let's pump the brakes a little bit, folks. This isn't like the kickoff to our 18th season. Uh, we're giving you a little update of what's going on. Obviously, from the time we had our final show in season 17 at Oak Forest, Matt Mansky, Juan Avila were our guests, boys basketball team at Oak Forest, which went on to have a great season. Until right now, as we sit here and tape on this Wednesday evening, a lot has changed. Uh, specifically, the coronavirus pandemic hit. It prevented the boys basketball season in classes 3A and 4A from even finishing. Come sectional championship time, everything was canceled, out. Never got to see Thornton, who was 32-1, and one, play Marion Catholic, who was coming off one of the greatest upsets in their history, beating Bloom in the sectional semifinal. So it was going to be Marion Thornton sectional championship at Bloom. Done. And I feel heartbroken for those Thornton kids, man, and really for all those seniors. But 32-1, and one, and you can't write the final chapter to your story as a senior. Heartbreaking situation, man. I interviewed those kids. So... That kind of started things rolling. The entire spring season, high school spring season, kaput, not a pitch thrown. Um, so that was canceled. You talk about heartbreaking for those seniors. And you know how this area is, the Southland and, and high school baseball. We are the Mecca. And this past season would have been unbelievable. I mean, you know, Mount Carmel's at Howard, drafted in the first round by the Cubs. You got Ben Hernandez, a pitcher by, from De La Salle, drafted in the second round. There was a ton of talent, and it's something we'll never be able to experience. Um, those seniors, those teams playing uh, in, in 2020. So now here we are. Fall season has started in high school, but it's an abbreviated situation. Girls and boys golf. You know, is, is going. Girls and boys cross country, girls tennis, girls swimming. That is it. They are trying to have a season here in the fall. Football, you ask? They are now in the spring. So things have been uh, changed up big time. So what the IHSA has done is, you know, I think it's November. Let me check my notes. November 16th to February 13th, you've got the winter season. That's boys basketball, girls basketball. They're going to have an abbreviated season, probably no playoffs. And then you got the spring season, February 15th to May 1st. That's football season is going to be rolling then in the spring. For those football enthusiasts that said, yeah, we should switch with baseball. You know, they, take, they should take the fall, we should take the spring. You're going to get your wish, and you're going to see how playing football in February, March, and April, when it's raining, sleeting, and snowing within a three-hour period with 35-mile-per-hour winds, you're going to see what that's going to feel like. I am excited. Never got this. Not, never have covered high school football in the spring. I'm gonna get my wish too. It's gonna be a very interesting situation, and I want to see those macho high school football coaches who, in November, you know, they're in the playoffs wearing their shorts. I want to see you put those shorts on in February. All right, when the snow's up to your knees. All right, and you got icicles hanging from your nostrils. That's what I want to see. Okay, and then the summer season, which is customarily the spring season. That will begin May 3rd, go to June 26th. That's the baseball, softball. And again, folks, this could all be wishful thinking. The coronavirus pandemic has, you know, we have a hundred, over 170,000 dead, more than 5 million who have been affected by this virus. So, you know, you've learned, I hope you've learned, because I've learned, you can't make plans a week from now, much less three, four, five, six months from now, because we don't know where this is going to take us. So. We caution, we want to have an 18th season of the Coach's Corner Show, but we're hoping to kick off the season on January 6th, okay? Kind of in the middle, near the end of the winter season, boys basketball, segue right into the football season, and let's have a great time, um, which will be interesting for us too, because we generally tape at high school football stadiums you know during football season but if you think me and gerard the polish prince are gonna be standing outside in, you know february january <laughs> taping you know our show i don't think that's gonna happen i think we'll be inside at a beggar's pizza location uh near you <laughs> so again this is what we're hoping for probably not going to be on broadcast tv you know we've been with wjys forever we we love being a part of J wjys but again they want a commitment we can't make a commitment six months out, man. It's just not 
fiscally responsible to do that, we might just go internet only on the website, coachescorner.com. Like, like thousands of you check us out every week on that. So that's kind of the way we're leaning toward now. But again, up in the air. We'll see where this takes us. So um, we are going to go to a beggar's pizza timeout. And I'm going to come back. I'm going to talk about some other things quickly. But let me tell you something, folks. Beggar's Pizza, which we're at the location on 127th and Kedzie and Blue Island, right across the street from the Mecca known as Eisenhower High School, which, good news, field turf is being installed on a football stadium. So long overdue, but good to see they made that investment, okay? So Eisenhower is rolling, should be done in about three weeks. Richard Shepard, they get theirs next year, all right? Know your place. Know your place, Astros and Bulldogs, okay? It's behind the Cardinals. Um, but Beggar's Pizza, you talk about a great situation and I'm sure mo most of you have ordered a pizza here no contact pickup and you come in you order your pizza they bring it out to you they'll put it right into your trunk back seat whatever they've got the gloves the mask on it's super super safe sanitary and it's really convenient they've got this method down to a T at the Kedzie location I've gone to the Western Avenue location in Blue Island I'm sure and all the locations that provide this it's awesome, no contact delivery too. They'll, they'll drop the pizza off on your porch, it's paid for already, you're good to go. So, I highly recommend this to go that route. Uh, Beggar's Pizza has it going on during this pandemic, it's, it's unbelievable. So kudos to the Garettos, Contellos for, for doing a marvelous job on this. All right folks, gonna go to a Beggar's Pizza timeout. We come back, we're gonna have one more segment for you. We'll talk about something going on at TF South and some other things, so stay tuned. We came up with a bunch of clever commercial ideas to entice you into trying Beggar's Pizza. We decided to let the food speak for itself. Hello, boys. I'm a drop-dead gorgeous pepperoni sausage whole the vegetables deep dish pizza. Mmm, just look at my cheese. Your place or mine. Beggar's Pizza. We lay it on thick. What is a South Sider? From eight to five, he's a hard hat, hammer swinging, God fearing son of pride and strength. Gives everything he has to get his job done. Then gives what he has left to his family and friends. It's here where he'll leave his legacy. It's here where he'll buy his truck. During the summer clearance event, drive a new 2019 Ram just $275 a month or get 20% off MSRP at South Oak Dodge Ram. Having surgery or dealing with some type of nagging pain that limits your function? Then get to Athletics. We offer treatment for all types of orthopedic injuries, work-related injuries, and sports injuries. Therapists with over 20 years of experience provide treatment that is efficient and effective. Our 2,000 square foot clinics offer state-of-the-art equipment from HydroTrack, Blankenship, and Biodex. If your doctor suggests physical therapy, then you suggest Athletics, where every patient is treated like a champion. Bob's Auto Body and Repair in Blue Island has been prospering since 1968 when Robert Warniak Sr. opened a business. Bob's goal? To go above and beyond to satisfy their customers. Whether it's a small ding or a major collision repair, Bob's is a trained technician and state-of-the-art equipment to meet the high standards their customers expect and that Bob's demands. Bob's also offers complete mechanical services for your automobile, from an oil change to brake repairs. Mention this ad, Bob's will detail your car for free with any auto body work or give you a free oil change with any mechanical work. Bob's Auto Body and Repair, Blue Island. Okay, folks, welcome back to the Coach's Corner Show brought to you by Beggar's Pizza. Uh, more than 20 locations throughout the Chicagoland area. All right, folks, um, before we get rolling again in this second and final segment of uh, this particular show, and we'll hopefully see you guys in, uh, in January, um, Jimmy Baranski, if, if you were a fan of Crete Monee High School, any type of Crete Monee sports, Jimmy Baranski uh, was a reporter used to work for the star with me and these multiple publications but he passed away um, a couple months ago so my condolences to the Baranski family I you know I saw him covering a Cremony Richie's football game this past season and uh, man big Cubs fan great guy and um, he's gonna be missed man it's gonna be weird going to a Cremony uh, sporting event and not see Jim Baranski home or away so condolences to the Baranski family 
And also, folks, you know, we're not going to get political. We never get political on this show, but I want to see this fall season through. And there are things you have to do, just like you're going to a restaurant. Gerard and I are, you know, practicing social distancing. When we got here, we had our masks on. But wear your mask, social distance, you know, let's get this thing in control so we can have high school sports and people can be safe and we don't have to mourn and, and deal with this tragedy. Life is tough enough and we just need to get through this thing. And I do, I feel terrible for these seniors. And I, and the kids going to college, I mean, these are the best years of your life. You know, and, and they're being deprived of this, but the only way to get through this is following the guidelines and, and get through it, man. So um, I'm covering boys and girls golf this fall because there's no football. And I got to tell you, I did a story during the week for the South Town on um, Athena Kwan from Sandberg, three-time state finalist in girls golf. Fantastic kid, fantastic golfer. Sandberg's going to have an excellent team. Um, and I'll tell you, the girls golf scene in this area, we got Lockport, we got Linkway Central, Marist. We've got some really good, strong teams. All three Linkways are, are, are pretty strong. So that's, that's going to be interesting. I'm gonna, it's going to be fun to cover this regularly, as well as boys golf. We got a two-time defending state champion at Lockport, Ben Sluzis. This kid's unbelievable. He, if he, if he pulls off the three-peat, he will be the second golfer in state history, which covers 105 years to rack up a three-peat. So I think he's going to do it. This kid is off to a, a great start, just won a, a major uh, invite last week, and I, I think he could pull this thing off. But the boys' golf scene between Lockport, Lincoln Way Central with Sean Curran, who is a Clemson uh, commit, so he's a heck of a golfer, finished runner-up to Sluzers two years ago, finished 16th last year. So Lincoln Way Central is going to be tough. Lincoln Way East is going to be tough. Lamont's going to be tough. Um, the golf, Sandberg's going to be very good. So it's, it's, it's going to be fun to kind of do a little something different beat-wise. I cover them occasionally, but I'm going to be on them like every week now and uh, check out the golf scene in the Southland. Hopefully get a couple state champions, whether it's individually or as a team, it, it'll be fun to cover. So if, yeah, you want, if you're bored, you want to get your fix of high school sports, go out, man. Check out some golf, check out tennis, cross country, some swimming, support these kids. They work very hard in these other sports. They deserve the attention and the recognition, no doubt about it. And here's the important thing about having this football season be played, all right? And a little bit of a selfish um, reasoning here for me. This running back, the crop of running backs that the Southland has right now that are seniors and juniors is the best I've covered in my 30-year history. The best. These kids are incredible. And we want to see these guys play. Even if it's an abbreviated season, you know, they might only be six regular season games, seven regular season games. They might pull off one, two, three playoff games. Probably not a state champion. But Hillcrest Marquise Irving is unbelievable. You know this. He's a Minnesota recruit, tremendous, Barry Sanders-like, top five I've ever covered. This kid, he's incredible. Incredible basketball player, too. It's Caleb Brown over at St. Rita. He's got 20-something offers, only a junior. Unbelievable running back, incredible speed, lightning quick. Um, you want to see this kid play. Brother Rice, Willie Shaw, Toledo recruit, senior, stud, healthy. We want to see him play. Sean Allen over at home with Flossmoor, senior, multiple offers. Dude's a beast, man. 2,000 yards last year. Now he's a senior. He might eclipse 2,000 yards again. And then Providence is Aaron Vaughn. You remember Aaron Vaughn, Creep Moni remembers Aaron Vaughn. Let me tell you, not only is he a Creep Middle School graduate, he's at Providence. Last year as a sophomore, rushed for 366 yards and four touchdowns during a Class 6A second round win over Creep Moni. He is, has zero offers, which is mind boggling. I know he's only a junior, and this pandemic has really thrown the recruitment of these kids, you know, totally upside down. But he's not going to seep through the cracks. This kid is going to get an opportunity. So you have those five, and there are more, but those are the five at the top of my head that, hey, man, these kids are just not, like, good all area. These are all state potential record breakers all in one season. So we want to see this football season. Selfishly, I want to see these kids play, man, because they are the real deal. These are historic type of running backs and talents that they don't come around you know, every year like this. So we want to get this thing rolling. So wear those masks, man, social distance, and uh, it'll be all good. And lastly, I don't know if you've heard, but TF South High School, they are considering retiring the Rebels name, TF South Rebels. 
you know, there's a Confederate connection there, you know, TF South and their history, they used to have a Confederate flag flying from the school. They had a mural of a Confederate flag in the school. That's all been wiped away since the early 90s. Now there's a change taking place that they want to get rid of the rebels. And um, that's a tough one. And they had all the kids this summer vote. All the students voted on it, okay? 1,800 students, I don't know how many voted on it. They didn't announce how many voted on it, but there was a 70% um, approval to get rid of the name. We need to pump the brakes on this. I understand there's this Confederate um, undertone of this, but at the same time, a rebel, if you look at the de definition of a rebel, it's someone who sticks up for what's, his, you know, his, what he believes in, you know, someone who overcomes some things. So I've talked to some TF South alum, Pierre Thomas, played in the NFL, played at Illinois, Chris Clapton, who played at Purdue, Michael Hobo had a great career at Notre Dame. You know, and this is coming out in Sunday's column, so it's, I think the school board needs to kind of step back, get some dialogue going. And if this is the way they want to go and they want to eliminate the rebel name, then hey, but you know, bring in a Curtis Granderson who not only enjoy, hit over 300 homers in his career, but he, he is a first class, A number one human being. Bring him to school. Have a dialogue going with these kids. Bring in Pierre Thomas, who played in the NFL. Chris Clapton. These guys need to be heard. And then formulate an opinion. Go with a plan here. But if you're just doing this for some political reasons and, you know, selfish reasons, you need to get everybody involved. And then make a great call. And let's get the community involved. I mean, people that live in Lansing, people who send their kids to TF South, this should not be put on the shoulders of 14, 15, and 16, and 17 year old kids. I don't think. I think there needs to be a little bit more done here. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, but yeah, that's about it. We just wanted to give you an update. And again, all our sponsors, man Tom Mulvey at Athletics, Sports and Orthopedic Physical Therapy. You know, you you need to get back on your feet. You know, Tom's got two locations, Orland Park, Oak Lawn. He is the absolute best. Dr. Leonard at Midwest Orthopedic Consultants. He's awesome. They have two lo locations, Oak Lawn and Orland Park. Our guy, Richie Labriola, out at Labriola Bakery Cafe, two locations, multiple stands, donut locations, La Barra restaurant. Labriola and La Barra, two for one uh, pasta pizzas on Mondays. They're, you know, they're outstanding. Rich is a great guy, a Blue Island guy. Bob's Auto Body, you need some body work done. Bob's in Blue Island, he'll, he'll take care of you. Mechanical, or if you need some work done uh, to the exterior of your car, you know, body work, he's the best, man. He's the best. So support our people. They, uh, they make this show possible. So that, and Lisa Thomas Salon, they have three locations. Um, Tom and Lisa come back, they'll get you looking your best. So we've got some great, great sponsors who have been with us for years upon years. You know, one of the newer ones, Denny Guest, uh, Dodge, Jeep, Chrysler, out in Matson. You know, I got another, I got another Jeep. I went, uh, went Cherokee and they, they hooked me up, uh, fit my budget and great car, love it. So um, if you're looking for a new or used car, Denny Guest in Matson is a place to check out. That's for sure, lease, buy, pre-owned, brand new, whatever you want. All right, folks. So. That's what's going on. That's a little bit of an update. Gerard and I, maybe we'll throw another update in a couple months um, and just let you know what's happening uh, with the show and what's going on in the area. Maybe after this fall season ends and maybe we'll have a couple of state championships to celebrate in multiple sports, uh, individually or as a team, we'll, we'll, we'll throw up another update, okay? Appreciate you watching. Thanks for your continued support. Be safe, um, respect one another, and um, enjoy life, all right? See you in a couple months. At Lisa Thomas Salon, we think loving yourself and your selfie starts with the perfect stylist. That's why we've assembled an amazing team, each with a unique passion for beauty, providing the perfect combination of innovation and experience, then adding just a little bit of fun. For hair, skin, nails, and makeup, no one does beautiful like Lisa Thomas, because life's too exciting to settle for the same old thing. Schedule today at Lisa Thomas Salon, a Redken Elite partner with three area locations.
Whether you're in the mood for a Chicago-style hot dog, Italian beef sandwich, Philly cheesesteak, or charbroiled cheeseburger, Joey's Red Hots has you covered. In the mood for something lighter, Joey's Salads promises to hit the spot. Looking to cool off on a hot day or after a workout? Joey's refreshing homemade Italian ice will satisfy. Come check out Joey's Red Hots at 17400 Wolf Road in Orland Park or at 115th Street and Western Avenue in the Beverly community where they're open until 5 a.m. on Fridays and Saturdays. No matter which location you visit, Joey's Red Hots promises to provide exceptional tasting food at an affordable price. If you're suffering from physical pain, nothing else matters. The one thing that should is Midwest Orthopedic Consultants because experience never mattered more. Serving the community for 25 years with over 90 years of combined orthopedic experience, our fellowship trained surgeons provide individualized care to those suffering from orthopedic pain. We deliver comprehensive care from diagnostic to surgical to rehabilitative services, all under one roof in each of our locations. Midwest Orthopedic Consultants, bringing university level orthopedic care close to home. Looking for a unique dining experience with incredible food? Then check out Labriola Bakery Cafe. Opened by Rich Labriola, Chicago's premier artisan baker, you know they'll have great bread, but you won't believe the rest of their menu. Wood-fired Neapolitan pizzas, fresh pasta, and their world-famous Richie Burger. There's also homemade gelato, and of course, their famous bread. Labriola Bakery Cafe and Neapolitan Pizzeria. Conveniently located in the Oakbrook Promenade. Thank <laughs> you. 